guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. This week I'm trying a one week water fast. That's right, I'm gonna do a one week water fast. That's seven days without any food. That's 168 hours. I don't know if I'm gonna make it to the end, but I certainly am gonna try to get there. Here are some things that I'm gonna be doing during my water fast. First thing I'm going to be doing is that I will be drinking half my body weight in fluid ounces every day, if not more. I'll also be using pink Himalayan sea salt uh, to make sure I get enough minerals, as well as taking magnesium calcium, um, another mineral supplement to make sure I get enough of that to avoid cramping during the week and headaches. Another thing that I will be doing is in the evenings, I'm going to be using broth. I'm going to be drinking bone broth, which I'll be making myself. So I'll be having plenty of water, plenty of minerals, and I'll be having bone broth in the evenings. Oh, I'll also be having black coffee. I don't know about if I will work out during this. I might work out the first few days if I feel up to it. Otherwise, I might just be counting my steps as I would normally do and trying to hit 10,000 steps during the day. And with my job, that's pretty easy to do. I don't have to really go out of my way to do extra things to hit those 10,000 steps. I've done this once before, a seven day water fast, and it was wonderful. If you wanna know why I wanna do this, then just keep watching this video because I'm going to explain throughout the water fast I'll also be checking in with my weight throughout the water fast um, to see how much my weight will go down. I'm expecting one to two pounds a day, so about maybe I would say 10 to 15 pounds by the time I am done with this. And if you're thinking that that's water only that I'd be losing, no, that will be some fat as well. See what happens when you go into a fasted state with your body is your body uses up the fat storage that you already have. Taking fat from parts of your body that have that stored up, such as if you're a lady, it might be your hips, your buttocks, your thighs, your mid area, like your stomach, um, those love handles, places like that, maybe even some fat from the arm. Your body will naturally tap into those stored areas of fat in order to keep you alive, basically. So you don't actually, I know some people are thinking, oh, a well, water fast, that must be dangerous. Um, for me, a person who has body fat to lose, it's not dangerous um, for me. Of course, I have done it before and I will be monitoring how I feel um, during the week to make sure that I, if I do feel some sort of way, that I either stop the fast or that I go ahead and take in some sort of other nutrient dense food besides the bone broth. Another thing that happens when you do go into a fasted state is your body goes into ketosis. That's when your body goes from burning sugar as a primary source and with the standard American diet, a lot of us are eating tons of carbs um, during the day and during the week and those carbs are turned into sugar through your liver. They go through your liver and through your pancreas and they're turned into sugar and the sugar is used as fuel for the body and for the brain. But there's another source that your body can use for fueling and that is ketones. Ketones are a protein that your body produces and it happens when you switch from burning sugar to burning fat as fuel. And your body can actually work quite well on those ketones. There is an adjustment period, so I do expect that. Um, for me, getting over day two into day three is normally the hardest. Day one, the first 24 hours is also pretty hard, but I find that once I am back um, in the evening time at my own house, in my own space, then I usually am pretty good. So I'm just going to try this and see how it works. If I can go one day or two days or the full week, I will put a video together to let you know just how far I went in trying to do this seven day water fast. If you have any questions about water fasting, you can type them in the comments box and I'll make sure to answer them as best as I can or point you to some resources that you can read about water fasting yourself. 
Um, the first place that I learned about water fasting was from a Canadian doctor named Dr. Jason Fung, who actually uses water fasting to help diabetic patients um, lower their A1C numbers, reduce their obesity numbers, lower their weight, lower their blood pressure. Fasting is good for a whole host of things. And if you can just think about, not in modern times where food is so readily available, but maybe hundreds of years ago when people had to hunt for their meat and they had to um, dehydrate them, sort of jerky them to store them, or eat them right then and there that day because there was no refrigerator to keep that food, um, they would go long stretches before they could eat again and it was seen as a normal thing. But of course today in modern day society where food is so readily available and um, where we are encouraged to eat three meals a day and to eat uh, several snacks throughout the day, that is just not the normal way of, of life right now. So to say I'm going to water fast just seems like an abnormal thing. But really, the body can do it, the body is capable of doing it, and it will be quite a while before the body starts to break down muscle. Um, you actually have to go through quite a bit of body fat before your body can start uh, cannibalizing on itself, which means that it's eating its muscle, eating your own muscle in order for you to stay alive. So I hope you guys enjoy the ride. I hope I can make it to day seven. And like I said, I'll be filming daily and putting this nice video collage together to just see how I make it through the water fast. Here are my before pictures and I cannot wait to see the end result. So morning one, I'm feeling pretty good. Just getting a little stretch in before I work out, before I go for my morning run. And just don't forget to stretch before you run because you will get cramps. And then once I got back to the house, I did 10 minutes of jump rope. So 15 minutes of running and 10 minutes of jump rope. It's confession time. I ate some food at dinner. What did you do? I ate some fish, some cauliflower rice, and what else did I eat? Half an avocado. I made it 27 hours. Yeah, 27 so, hours. So here we go, day two. I'm gonna try to do 24 hours. So Ready? that's dinner today and then dinner tomorrow. So my original plan was to do a seven day water fast and I have not done that. I did the first 24 hours and I didn't take in enough sodium, um, sea salt, mineral salt in my water or coffee or tea to push myself further to the next day. Day one, it was 24 hours, but then into day two, what I ended up doing was I had dinner that night and then the next day, 23 hours later had another dinner. So I ended up doing an OMAD schedule. Today is Friday and yesterday evening, a friend of mine asked me if I would be willing to do a three day water fast with her. And I thought, sure, you know, I was attempting this already um, to do a seven day fast. Why not see if I can push myself further to do a three day fast with her. And so that's what I'm trying to do now is complete three days. This is day one dinner tonight will be the official 24 hours of day one and we'll be going through until Sunday so when I started my journey it was a Sunday and I'll end my journey also on a Sunday we really wanted to do this because I've been eating so much junk during this corona quarantine time and I just really wanted to just reset just giving my body time to heal itself uh, fasting is so good for cell renewal and just giving your body a break. If you can think of your body as like a factory that's working, you know, 24 seven to put in the factor of chewing and consuming and having that digestive system just moving. This takes that out of the equation. Fasting takes that out of the equation. So it gives your body a chance to repair things that need to be repaired because you're taking a break from one of the largest systems in your body, the digestive system. 
know, most people snack throughout the day and eat three meals type thing like that. So that means the digestive system is constantly on. That's a factory that's constantly on. And this water fast will give my digestive system a real chance to just take a break from doing that and give my body a chance to focus on other things. I really am hoping that with my friend's motivation of her texting me saying, let's do this water fast, that I'll be able to get through it. Um, I think what I'm going to do is put uh, somewhere on the screen um, information about water fasting, just a list of uh, benefits to give you guys a more defined, more educated look at just some of the things that fasting does for the body. At the last day of my failed attempt to do a seven day water fast, I ended up the whole week just basically having it be an OMAD uh, week, which was still good. I can't remember how much I weighed before, but I will insert the picture. And this morning I weighed in at 160.6. So that was really good. Inflammation went way down. My stomach went way down. Everything just, um, I feel... A little bit lighter and I'm just gonna continue next week's gonna be week two of my weight loss journey thank you for sticking with me thank you for watching this video if you like this type of content leave a comment down below and I can film what else I'm gonna do to try and lose 30 pounds if you like this type of content leave a comment down below and be sure to like share and subscribe and if you do try water fasting and you're more successful than than I have been, uh, where you're able to do a continual, continual days of fasting, or even a week, or just comment down below how long you've fasted, if you've even tried it, if you thought about it, um, if you've been too nervous to even try it, and just just see what your body can do. You may surprise yourself. Mm -hmm.